Have you ever wondered why when you watch guides on YouTube, may it be builds for soccer corrupted dungeons, slayer mist, or money making videos, it just doesn't seem to be true, or you can't really seem to replicate the results that you just watch. For example, you just watch a money making video. It says you can make this amount of silver in this amount of time and you try it and it doesn't really work or it just you can't get the same results as the YouTube video said. There are a couple of reasons why this actually is a thing. And I want to get your opinion on this in the comment section below as well. Now, the first biggest thing when you search for YouTube videos is that sometimes they're just clickbaits. One of the examples that we keep on using in this channel when warning other players or other new players uh, in the chat is like, don't fall for the lies. And it's very, very difficult to determine, especially when you're a new player, if this is a clickbait or if this is not a clickbait. One of the biggest telltale signs that you should really be wary of is the too good to be true. Even as a new player, if you see something that says you can make 3 million silver in tier 5 solo dungeon as a new player per hour, that is complete BS. And that should not be something that you should believe. There are just YouTube channels out there that stretch, let's just say stretch the reality. They just sometimes flat out lie to get the clicks, to get the views. And it's very sad, to be honest with you, when a lot of players just fall for those kinds of clickbait videos, thinking that this first video that they saw when they typed in what is the best money making method out there and they see this YouTube video over freaking 50 minutes detailing a bunch of BS and it's just sad. So the first telltale sign is if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And before you watch the video, I highly recommend just like looking at the comments to see like if it's legit, if it's not legit, because the thing about Albion online videos out there is just they the viewers usually call out if they smell BS, if they see BS, if you read the comments first before like watching the video to save your time or to save you time and just, just watching like any videos out there, you would see the sentiment of players that have watched the video. Meaning if a certain player says this and the creator doesn't have like a response, usually that's BS. If you see uh, a complaint in the comment section, but the creator actually responds like with the reason why this is the case for this video. Now that is going to be potentially a better video compared to other videos that say, this is the method. They comment and say, this is BS and no response at all. That's your telltale sign, especially since on YouTube, you can't see the dislike count anymore. Uh, the biggest issue I see is the older videos popping up that no longer works like farming no longer works. That is true. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. So the first reason is they just clickbait. There are just YouTube videos out there that just clickbaits, gets the views, and doesn't really give you enough information or valuable information for you to follow the build. Okay, so that's why one of the reasons why it just doesn't work. You try it and it just doesn't work. You don't get the same results. The second reason is some of the YouTube videos out there, they're just not experts of the things that they're talking about. I'm not saying you have to be fully an expert to create guides on YouTube, but if you watch someone who just creates a video out of something, out of a build that might have worked for some people, and then they just create a video and they create a guide for it, and you use it, and it's just you just lose all the time, sometimes there are YouTubers out there that just haven't used the build long enough for them to give you advice on how to use it. They just haven't experienced enough battles to give you sound advice. And you can only reach the level of the guide that they created. So if a person, so for something for me, I have used the fire staff for the longest time. I have used it for 2v2, 1v1, soccer corrupted dungeon specifically. I have had 1,500 fights with the Fire Staff in Stalker Corrupted Dungeons. That, 
I think makes me an expert in the fire staff. I have pretty much seen it all. I've fought everything. I've won against everything. I've lost, obviously, and have a pretty solid win rate. The video that I can create using a fire staff is going to be very good. It's comprehensive. It's going to give you a lot of value. It's going to give you a lot of tips. It's going to give you a lot of actionable tips that you can use that can help you improve your fire staff build in Stalker Corrupted Dungeons. Now, if I were to create a spear build, if I were to create um, a dagger build, I have not used a dagger that much. I have not used a spear. I can only create a bullshit build. I can only create a bullshit guide because I can copy any guides on YouTube. Check Murder Ledger. I can copy the build. I can show you clips of me potentially winning, but it's always going to be inferior to every other guide of a YouTuber that has been using the spear. Let's just say Nomad Poncho. If you see a spear build from me and a spear build from Nomad Poncho, Nomad Poncho's video is always going to be better because he has been using the spear longer than me and he has a lot of knowledge, he has a lot of tips, he has a lot of techniques that he can teach you compared to me who can just copy a build on Murder Ledger, show you a couple of fights that I have won. I can never truly give you advice or tips that is going to translate well when you use it because I, myself, has a very limited knowledge about spears. So that's why if, let's say, you watch a build and it's from a, a player who's not really an expert using that weapon and you use that weapon, you follow their tips, it's most likely that you are going to lose more than you're going to win because the advice that you received from that specific uh, video is not really like the top tier. Obviously, you can still win uh, fights. You can use that as a reference for guides, but that may be one of the reasons why when you use a build, it just doesn't translate well. It, you don't get the same wins as other uh, as the video uh, says you, you should get. But the other reason is also tied to that being an expert thing. A lot of builds on YouTube, and I am obviously part of this, is that I have specs. So if I use my Corrupted Dungeon build, my main Corrupted Dungeon build, this one right here. This is my main Corrupted Dungeon build. I have over 80% win rate for this build. I have insane amount of specs. In this build, all right, I have 100, 700 in all, all of my fire staff, over 700. I have the specs and I also have the knowledge. So I've been playing this build for 1500 fights, over 1500 fights, and I have the knowledge. So when you watch a YouTube video, let's say a guide from me for a fire staff, I am an expert of it. I'm an, ex I'm a, I'm an expert with the fire staff. My guides are legit. But when you use it, you may, you may say, oh, I'm not winning as much as he is. It's probably because I have the specs. I have higher specs and in Albion Online, especially in like open world, specs do matter. In Stalker Corrupt the Dungeon specifically, specs don't matter that much. Like knowing how to use the weapon matters more than specs. But that's also the case. I have the knowledge and I have the specs. So you can't really expect the same results as I get initially. Uh, the best example here was... Gus. Gus is also a streamer on Twitch. He used my Fire Staff build, exact same Fire Staff build because of the challenge that I created like months and months ago. His first 100 fights, he won 50%. And granted, and yeah, he won 50%. And take note, I have like 80, 85% win rate in this build. If I create a build that says like 85% win rate, you can't really recreate that because I have the knowledge and I have the specs. Now, going back to Gus, Gus had his first 100 fights and he won literally 50%. All right. Actually, first 200 fights. His first 200 fights, he won 100, he lost 100. So 50% down the middle. But his next 100 fights, he actually won 80% or 82% of the fights. So the first 200 was basically like practice, he won 50%. The next 100, he won 80 plus percent of his fights. So watching a video 
doesn't really give you the knowledge and it doesn't even if you have specs it doesn't give you the knowledge or the experience when it comes to fighting specific builds let's just say in stalker corrupt the dungeons you have to practice in a way because the videos that you're watching because they're experts they have a lot of fights under their belt they have all of the knowledge in the world they already know what to do against specific builds even before they happen so that's another reason why the fourth reason, and this pertains to money-making methods, and I'm glad that Tag actually brought it up. Timing is very crucial when it comes to money-making methods. All of my money-making methods, I try to publish it as soon as I can. I try to explain as many details as I, can, I possibly can, but there is just this timing thing. Most of the money-making videos that I create is based on, based on taking advantage of the spike in price. And that spike in price usually makes your money-making method seem better or seem more profitable than when other players do it. I always, always try to take advantage of spikes in price, spikes in demand, try to take advantage of that, and then create a video. Now, when I create a video, everyone else does the method, increasing the supply with the same demand, decreasing the profit so that may be one of the reasons as well why when you watch a youtube video especially from like years ago when meta meta is different meta has changed you see this method you see this video and you try to replicate the results and it just doesn't work that's why in most in my recent videos i always try to say don't try to replicate the results of this video try to learn the method Try to learn the concepts and apply it to other items in the game, to other money-making methods in the game. So when they say I crafted a tier 6 hunter hood and I made 2 million profit, used focus. When you try to do it, you're never going to get that 2 million, fo uh, 2 million profit. Firstly, because I bought the leather for different prices. I have different specs in the hunter hood crafting. I sold it for different prices. Because in Albion Online, ch prices always change like constantly, constantly changes. So you can't really expect to get the same results. But if you try, you really, really try to learn the concepts of the money making video, you're, you'll be better off rather than just fully copying it. Another, the last reason, the last reason why when you watch a YouTube video, it says, all right, let's just use my latest video as an example. If you go to youtube.com at Burnstone TV Gaming, uh, you'll see this method right here. It says the best money making method. Let's just open it up. It's the best money making method. And in the thumbnail, I showed 19 million. I showed 19 million loot overall. And if you look at the comments, some will say that this is cap. This is not true. It's not real. And the biggest reason why other players get different loot from from me or from you or for any other it's because of rng and we can't really control that we can't control the rng some players just have better rng than others some players just has like the worst luck in the world so especially in loot based this is a loot based game especially in like the mist right now the mist is just so profitable for me currently but when other players do it, if they try to exactly copy my build, my patterns, my everything, they're not going to get the same loot as I do because of RNG. And it's just how it works. <laughs> RNG just hates you. It's just RNG. Those are the five reasons why it may seem like all YouTube videos out there are complete BS. There are videos out there that are complete BS when they just lie to you and they just clickbait, that's really like the worst. When they're not experts of the thing that they're talking about, they're just basing it on the knowledge that maybe they they came across and they tried to make a video of it. That's when you pretty much not really take full advantage of whatever they're trying to say, and you can't really replicate whatever they're showing because they're not experts. They cannot teach you the thing that they do not know fully right it's just they just create builds builds after builds 
if they're not experts around it, it's not really going to help you in any way, shape, or form. It's still, again, it's still a very good reference for builds. Still a very good reference for how things may work. But you can never really have success if you're following someone who's not really an expert on the matter. You can reach their level. But once you get to like higher level, you're just going to get smacked by other uh, other experts. Um, another reason is the specs and the knowledge. When YouTubers or content creators have been using the build for so long, they already know what to do before anything happens. So they have the knowledge, they have the specs. You may not have the specs and you may not have the knowledge. You just have to keep practicing. Uh, the fourth is the timing. Everything in Albion Online, the prices changes, fluctuates every single day. So you can't really expect to get the same profit from a money-making video that you watch on YouTube or you came across on Twitch or whatever because it change, the price always changes. It's more important to learn the concept rather than completely copying what they said in the video. And lastly, it's RNG. Sometimes the RNG gods are just frowning. They're smiling at you. You can't really control that. But those are the top five reasons why most of the money making videos and most of the guides that you see on YouTube don't really work. One point I feel is not mentioned enough. The level of everything is based on the video creator and not on a new person's level. That is also true. So whenever you watch a video, it's very, it's now close to impossible to watch a video or to create a video from a new player perspective. There are no videos out there that are truly helpful that is done by a new player. Most of the videos that you are going to see are done by veteran players who are trying to show new players that this can work, a build can work, a money-making um, method can work. That's why in most of the videos, I try to pass on the knowledge as much as I can. All of the knowledge that I have, all of the concepts that I know, I try to pass it on via YouTube video. And I always try to say, learn the method instead of copying exactly what I did in the video. But it's because it's truly difficult to just create a video as a with like a new player vision or new player uh, point of view just because you can't really erase the knowledge that you already have. Your low tier, uh, your low tier refining is still 100% viable. Still getting 150 return on everything. 150%. Yep. That's low tier resource you're fighting. As long as you have like the mental toughness to do it, it's one of the best money making methods out there, especially for new players as well. Create an alt account at leveling at the level you're referencing. I did. I did by the roots, but it's not even that. It's not even like 10% of what um, specs matter. But it's specs is not, it doesn't really matter that much, right? Specs matter just a little bit, but not that much. Even when I created the the alt character that I have with uh, the fire staff corrupted dungeons, I still got 19 wins in a row using the same build. Not because I have the specs, because obviously that's an alt character and I have minimal specs in all of the items that I used. It's because I have the knowledge, how to use the skills, how to use the sets, and how to use basically everything in this build because I've been using this for like 1500 fights. Even if I did not have the specs, as long as I had this, I'm good. I'm like really good. I mean, not good, good, like praising myself. Like I'm okay with using low specs just because I have the knowledge, I have the skills, I have the experience to know when to use a skill and when not to use a skill. And still high tier weapon specs? Not really. Because I have, in that alt character, I only have specs in pretty much cleric robe and not any other cloth. Hunter hood, not any other leather hoods. Not even like 100 on these. I have like minimal specs on the taproot. Probably have like 100 specs on the fire staff, but zero on everything else. So it's not really mostly about specs. It's it's all about the knowledge, really. Like the experience, I would say. Uh could you get the same results if your fire staff was not with not the without this? 
obviously not. Obviously not. And I always say you have to you have to have the Q3 available before you do PvP. Uh, one of the things that other players think as well, uh, I, I'm glad you brought that up, is that when I have this, that's when I have to that's when I can do PvE. Now other players are impatient and they want to do PvE PvP right away, and they don't do um the fame farming. They try to get the same results without using the same abilities. And they were like, oh, this, 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 this doesn't work because I don't have Q3. One, the biggest thing is that it is so easy to spec up in this game. Getting level 85, especially with the far Staff, is so easy. Far Staff is one of the best PvE weapons in the game. So the, the argument that you can't really do it without the Q3 and I can't replicate because I don't have the Q3, it's more about being lazy more than anything. It's more than it's it's like oh I don't have, I don't want to spec that up. I don't want to be in that minimum level to follow your guide and I'm losing. That's why this guide sucks. So it's just a matter of getting the minimum things required to follow the guide and then follow the guide practice and you're going to win. It's more of like that.